What's up guys, Aaliyah Langley here, coming at you with another video. So I wanted to make this today because I've had a lot of my friends still ask me what the differences between the iPhone 10 and the iPhone Xs are. So I'm going to do a couple of the big major breakdowns of these phones and then you'll see what the differences are in these phones. So first disclaimer is the iPhone XS and the iPhone XS Max are pretty much basically the same phone. So the, the iPhone XS Max is bigger, obviously. The battery is a little bit better, but other than that, internally, they are all the same. The cameras are the same, all that's the same. So when I'm saying XS, I mean for both of these phones. All right, so the first big difference in the iPhone 10 compared to the 10s is the display. Now all three of these phones have the same true tone OLED display, but Apple has said that there's 6% better dynamic range for HDR content on the 10s's. And also the touch sensing on um, these phones, which is basically like when you're using the phone, the, in, the how fast it reacts to your touch. It's 60 hertz on the iPhone 10 and it's 120 hertz on the iPhone 10s. so it's been doubled. So you can definitely tell when you're using these 10s's you can tell that it's a lot faster and more intuitive to your touch and it's been really, really responsive and great. That's the first big difference, display. The second big difference is the camera. Now the camera has been the one thing that's gotten people really excited about these new phones. There are a lot of improvements. So one of the first ones is Smart HDR. And Smart HDR is in that Apple's kind of stolen from Android phones which it fuses a bunch of photos together mid-photo while you're taking the photo. It fuses these little photos together and makes them one great photo for you to give as the final product. And it's really, really cool how it works. Another big thing is depth control. Now depth control got people really excited. Apple showed us a little bit of that at their event in September and it's been really fun to use. Now depth control is something that you can do when you're taking a portrait mode selfie or just a normal photo with the back of your camera. You can blur the background of a photo after you take the photo. So you can blur it all the way, you can blur it not at all, just a little bit here or there. Depends whatever you want to do, you can blur it after the photo is taken and it's really, really cool in portrait mode only. Now the hardware is pretty much the same on all these phones, but there's one big difference which is the pixel size. Now the iPhone 10 has a 1.22 micrometer pixel size and the iPhone 10s's have a 1.4 micrometer pixel sizes. Now the pixel size is basically when you're the, is allowing the light coming into the phone. So there's more light coming into the phone on the 10s's which makes the camera and the videos and such just perform much better. You can definitely tell it using the phones. Over the past couple weeks I've been using the 10, the 10 S's, you can, I can, like I said, I can really tell that the camera is a lot better and it's just a lot, the pixel sizes make a big difference, that, um, that jump makes a big difference in the camera. It's really great. The third thing is performance. Now performance, the iPhone 10 S's have the, the Apple's new A12 Bionic chip as well as the A11 and the, and the 10. And the A12 Bionic chip is really, really great. It's been working really well. The iPhone 10 S's have, the iPhone 10 S's have four gigs of RAM and the iPhone 10 has three gigs of RAM. iPhone 10 has have a four core GPU. iPhone 10 has a three core GPU. Apple has promised a 50% leap in graphics. Face ID is a little bit faster. There's a couple other things that just make the iPhone 10 has a lot more elite in the performance aspect. It's a lot faster, it's a lot, it's just better. The battery is better, just all these things are making it better. So some of the extras, like I said, the battery is better on the phones than the iPhone 10. We have a 25% boost in our stereo speakers in the iPhone tennises. There's IP68 water resistance rather than IP67 water dust resistance in the 10. Um, water, dust, water dust resistance basically means just like you can put the phone deeper in water, longer in water in the 10s's. But um, so that's, that's the difference between these phones. So the water, water dust resistance is better. Also, a thing that people are excited about is the dual SIM capability. Apple, Apple has now for the first time allowed the iPhone to have dual SIM or eSIM capability, which is basically like if you have two phones and you only want to have one phone, you can do dual SIM. You can have two different numbers on one phone, all coming in on one phone, separate things totally, but you have two SIMs all on one phone. It's pretty cool. So the bottom line is the 10s is still in the, very much in the S year of iPhones. Two tweaks here and there internally, but it's nothing. It's not a major difference from the, from the 10. It pretty much is in a lot of ways the same. So my advice would be, if you have the 10 currently, stick with this phone, it is still a fantastic phone. Wait another year and see what Apple comes up with. Now, if you have some of the, if these differences have got you excited enough to change the phone, I know for my sister, the camera improvements were enough for her to get the new phone, that's fine. Spend your money how you want to spend your money. Get the new phone if you want. The phones are still great. Either one, you'll be very happy with. The iPhone 10s are no longer in sale at Apple, but you can get the iPhone 10s at like a Best Buy or local um, phone stores like Verizon, AT&T, all kind of ones, you can get the phones there. 
Um, so the iPhone 10 I started at thousand dollars. The iPhone 10s will be cheaper now because they're 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 it's less. It's cheaper now. So you can get the iPhone 10 for a cheaper price if you want to, and still have a really great phone. The iPhone 10s are still amazing. Now a bonus is the iPhone 10R. The new iPhone 10R is coming out very soon. It's coming out on Friday, October 26th, and people are really excited about this phone. So I'm gonna dive right in and do some comparisons with the iPhone 10R and the iPhone 10S. Now, the iPhone 10R has a 6.1 LCD display, and the iPhone 10S has a 5.8 OLED display. So yes, the 10R is bigger than the 10S and a little smaller than the 10S Max. So, but it's a 6.1 LCD display, which means the LCD is less, is a downgrade from the from the OLED display and the 10S is. Surprisingly, the 10R can't play full HD 1080p content on the 6.1 inch display. That's kind of surprising because the display is so large, but that's what it is. But the display on the 10R is still a really great display. People will still love it, I'm sure. Now the design. The 10R has IP67 water and dust resistance, which is just like the 10, and rather than the, rather than the IP68 in the 10S's and the 10S Max. Will you care again? Probably not. Both the 10R and the 10S have a 25% bump in the speakers. The speakers are louder and they're better and they, they sound great. The 10R comes in six different colors. It's supposed to just three in the 10S. The 10R comes in white, black, blue, yellow, coral, and product red. The 10S only, come, only comes in the space gray, silver, and the gold. And another thing for the 10R, the 10S's have the stainless steel rails on the side of the phone, the 10R will have the aluminum rails. Now performance, both of these phones have the Apple A12 Bionic chip, the new chip, which is really cool, but the 10S has a four gigabyte of RAM and the 10R has the, has a three gigabyte of RAM, which is just like the 10. So it's not the RAM, is not as good. The camera is one big difference for these, the big difference for these phones where you can barely, where you can physically see is gonna be the camera. A single versus a double camera. So there's a double camera on the 10S and there's a single camera on the 10R. So you can pretty much do everything you can on the 10S with the 10R, except you can do two times optical zoom because you don't have that second camera to do the zoom. So on things like portrait mode and stuff like that, you won't be able to zoom in as much like you can on the 10S or even the 10. So that's the one that's the one big difference on the camera between the two, but the camera is still very capable and can do a lot of great things. And the last thing is the battery. The cheaper iPhone 10R has a better battery life than the 10S. Now, basically, the 10R will be a very popular phone, I think, because of all the colors that comes in and because of the price point. The price for the 10R starts at just $750 as opposed to thousand dollars for the price point for the 10S. So I know a lot of people probably won't want to be grabbing their hand, getting their hands on this phone. The 10R is definitely a downgrade from the 10S. It reminds me of kind of like the iPhone 5C that came out a few years ago, but it's still going to be a really, really great phone, and I know people are going to be excited about it. There's going to be a lot of new stuff coming out about the 10R as it is the new, the, the new phone. Like I said, it comes out this Friday, October 26th. If you want to see it hands-on, go out to the Apple Store and check it out. It looks really, really cool. And there should be a lot, like I said, a lot of stuff coming out today from people. So make sure you look up some of those other things about the 10R and get knowledgeable about that if you want it yourself. Whatever phone you get, you'll be happy. I'm sure of any of these phones, the new 10S or 10R or with the old 10, you'll be happy either way. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and comment. Let me know what kind of phone you're gonna get. Are you gonna get the 10R? Are you gonna get the 10S? Do you have the 10S? Maybe knows the difference from the 10. Tell me what tell me what you're interested in. And if you have any questions about the differences between these phones, feel free to drop those in my, in my comment section. Or you can ask me on Twitter, at Leah Langley. I'll be happy to answer you there. But any questions or just you want to talk about the phones, that's fine. Hit me up and let me know what you think about all this. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.